Hey guys, Talem here, and with the coming of Long War 2 for XCOM 2, I decided, you know what, why not do a quick XCOM Enemy Within video. Now you're probably asking why I didn't already do one. Yes, I did one to cover the install of Long War, but I really didn't go into installing other mods using the tools available as well as tweaking and optimizing the appearance of your XCOM game. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is that XCOM is, in my opinion, completely replayable. I have I know a guy who put over 1400 hours into this game. 1400 hours. That's a tremendous amount of time gonna go ahead and get right into the meat of the video the first thing we're going to cover is optimizing the anti-aliasing of XCOM because by default XCOM looks atrocious now let's go ahead and take a quick jump into XCOM so I can show you exactly what I mean and we don't have to go very far we just have to go to the intro screen all right here we are in game now if you take a look at the screen you can tell that the anti-aliasing is not great at all Bradford doesn't look that bad, but if you look at the environment around him, you can tell that the anti-aliasing, especially on the railings and on the little on the support wrap beams here, they're not very good. You can see the flickering wavy lines, and this is with the settings of the game set to maximum. Now what you want to do before we get into the next step with the NVIDIA Inspector, what I want you to do is under options. Make sure your video and graphic settings are exactly where you want them. You want your resolution to be as high as possible. If your screen can do 100, uh, 1080p, that's what you want. Your graphics, go ahead and pump them all to maximum unless you have, for some reason, an older computer that just can't handle it. But just about every computer that has been built, you know, a decent gaming computer over the last three or four years should be able to run this on high without any kind of problem. So just make sure that's all set. Make sure your resolution set. I turn off V-Sync and smooth frame frame rate smoothing. That's something that you just really you don't need if you have a high powered computer because this game doesn't screw up if it goes over 60 frames per second. The engine isn't uh, that finicky. <laughs> You're not gonna have soldiers flying across the screen. That tends to happen in XCOM 2. You ever loot one of the bad guys in XCOM 2 and his body just literally flies to the other side of the map? I've had that happen a few times and it is really hilarious. Apparently that scope was very much attached to his person. So we've, we've taken a look at the screen as it is right now. Now let's go ahead and jump back out and let's modify the settings. Here we are back at the desktop and I have NVIDIA Inspector opened. Now what you need to do is just go right here to your XCOM Enemy Unknown profile. How you get there, just type XCOM, got a list here, you want this one. Now one thing you might notice is right here, the XCOM game.exe, it does not include the XCOM Enemy Within executable, so we have to add that. So all we need to do is just go over here to this little plus sign here on the folder, click on it, and you need to navigate to your XCOM install folder. Now how you get to the particular executable, as you can see I've already uh, made sure that my pathing was right, is go to the XCOM enemy unknown folder, click over on the XEW folder, then to binaries, Win32, and you want to go ahead and add this one right here. You can also add this one if you want, just to dot your I's and cross your T's. It's not necessary, but you can if you want to. So with that step done, we're going to go ahead and get to modifying the rest of all this good stuff. Now the first thing we need to add, of course, is the very important compatibility bit. Now you're only going to change the first few uh, handful of numbers there. Those ones right there, those five are the ones that are being changed. And we are changing them to 100 C5. Now that is the compatibility bit for running the SGSSAA for the XCOM game. And then you want to scroll down a little bit to the anti-aliasing section. Change this to none. Alright. Then the mode you want to put to override. The setting here, let's go ahead and set that to 4. You don't really need it any higher when you're running the SGSSAA alongside it. And for that, you want to go down to here to X4 Sparse Grid Super Sampling. 
Okay, that is taken care of. And for texture filtering, let's go ahead and put that to user defined slash off. The next line under filter setting, let's put that to 16x. I like to put this to high quality. That's all you really need, need to do in that section. Now down here under the ambient occlusion, you can go ahead and switch that to quality. You can put on high quality if you want. And enabled. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do that. My computer is pretty meaty enough to be able to handle it. Let's go ahead and click apply. And there, and now it's done. Now I'm just going to drag this aside here. Whoop, get over there. Drag it aside there. And now I'm going to jump back into XCOM and show you the difference. Here we are back in the game. Now the angle has changed of the of the uh, opening screen here, but you can almost instantly tell the difference between this screen and the previous one. As you can see, the railing is smooth. The shell of the interior is flicker free. It is absolutely gorgeous. Just take a look at the computer terminals, the edges of the desks. Everything looks amazing. You don't get those jagged vertical and horizontal lines kind of flickering across the screen. And the in-game will also reflect this change. Now, if you're wondering if your computer can handle it or not, it's simple. Make the change, jump into a game, and play and see. To be honest with you, with strategy games especially, frame rate is really not as important as it is in games like first person shooters or open world games like Fallout, you really shouldn't take that big of a frames per second hit. But the best way to do it is just to go into the game and play a little bit and see. Hey, it runs smooth, it looks great. Bonus, everybody wins. If you do for some reason have severe problems, just revert the changes back to the default. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the U. PK Utilities, that's the name of the program that we're going to use to further mod XCOM Enemy Within. Here we are at the UPK Utilities main page on Nexus Mods. Now before you go ahead and download, I want you to take a moment, pause this video, and read over these directions. It's very important to always do that for any mod or any tool that you download to modify a game, is to read what the mod author has written down. Don't just assume you know, because you might always miss a detail. I'm guilty of that in the past. I'm sure just about everybody is. So throttle back a bit and take a moment to read. That being said, I'm assuming that you paused the video to read it. We're gonna go ahead and go right to the download part. Now what we're gonna download is the Patcher GUI. Let's go ahead and give that a click. The UPK Utilities is like a complete tool package. Most of you won't need to worry about that unless you're a modder. Just for being a regular user who just wants to mod the game himself instead of create a mod, the Patcher GUI is pretty much all you're going to need. All right, the file is done, so we're gonna go ahead and give it an open. All right, once the file is open, you can go ahead if you want to and close this page here. We're not gonna need it for right now. What you wanna do is you wanna extract this into, let's go ahead and it's gonna open up a new Windows Explorer. And I'm gonna stick this right inside its own XCOM folder in my game utilities. It's very important to have all your game modding tools separate yet together, <laughs> if that makes any sense. All right, so let's go ahead, that's extracted. We can click it open and as you can see here, we have the application. This is what you will need to run. And let's go ahead and click, give it an open. Give it a little click here. Now what you need to do is that you need to find the path to your XCOM Enemy Unknown or Enemy Within folder. We are using Enemy Within. So we're gonna go ahead and approve to there. I happen to have it pretty easy on my quick access here. So I just click right there for that. Select and there we go. That's all the initial setup that you need to do for this is just the install directory for your XCOM game. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually install a Long War compatible because I do have Long War installed for my XCOM Enemy Within game. If those of you who don't have Long War, the steps I'm going to do are going to be the same for any other mod, except I am just taking Long War into consideration of the mods that I choose to install along with it. So that being said, we're just gonna go ahead and jump on over to, let's see here. This one looks good. We're gonna go download one of these brilliant mods for the XCOM interface and gameplay tweaks. Now this page has 
modifications for enemy within enemy unknown and long war but what you need to do is just read because if we would if you went straight to the files and you see all this different stuff and you're like oh i want this and i want this and i want this i want this 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 you don't know if you're doing it right you need to read the description because as it says right here list of long war compatible tweaks there's only this little list here available for you to use okay all a lot of these other ones won't work with long war because long war either already includes them or it conflicts with the system that long war is putting into place let's go with number six here display soldier experience psi experience and mobility in battle for long war very important things to show so we're going to go ahead and click over to files now comes the point of downloading the file but another thing i want to point out is if you're familiar with your versions long war is at its full release 1.0 version this one here says beta 15 which was the last version before the official release i've tested it and i know for a fact that this works with the 1.0 but in some cases you won't know that so it's a good it's a good thing to post a comment and ask the question say hey does this work with the newest version of x such and such i know this does so we're just going to go ahead and download it now if you notice there is no mod manager so we're just going to go ahead and download it manually. Now if we open it, you notice that it's just a text file. Isn't that a little odd? Well, XCOM mods based on text and INI files. It's just pretty simple. Now what you can do is you can extract this to any storage place you want. I am just going to go ahead and stick it. Not there. Uh, <laughs> stick it there. Stick it in my game utilities folder under XCOM. I'm going to make a new folder for downloads, actually, this mod files, better do that sounds better, and extract it. Alright, so that's extracted and ready to go. Let's go ahead and blah, 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 blah. go back to our UPK patcher here. Let's browse to said text file, click on it, open, and it will actually list everything here. Now at this point, you can actually modify something, click save, and it will mod the game based on everything you had here. We're not going to go ahead and do that. We're just going to go to apply and click a little clicky. Apply and mod file and ask us to wait. Bam, successfully. If there was a problem, it will tell you. Like usually if you're trying to use the wrong version or an enemy unknown version, it'll pop up and say, hey, doofus, you got the wrong file. It doesn't work. But... It didn't say that to me, so my feelings are spared. We're all good there. Now let's jump back real quick to that mod file folder. And now you see there's two of them now. One of them is an uninstall text. This will revert the game back to its state prior to installing this. All you need to do to install a compatible mod is just that little step. It's pretty simple. As you can see, it's not that complicated. But let's go ahead and do another one here. Let's see. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What's good for long war? Let's see. LW. There we go. Let's see. Hunker down, fine tuned for long war. Ooh, another good one. So let's go ahead and download that. Continue with my download. Thank you. Let's open her up. Let's uh, find my file again because apparently I just can't seem to remember to keep my uh, programs open. So I'm going to go ahead and extract this back into my mod files page. See, I almost closed it. Bad. Bad Talem. Okay. <laughs> and let's go back to here. See, I applied it. Let's go to browse. Let's open up another one. Click open. And it'll change over. And what you can do at this point is click apply. It'll do its little read thing. Bam. Successfully. So we know that this mod is also installed and ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and close that because I think that's all of that particular tool that we're going to use at this moment. See if I don't explode anything else. All right, guys, here we are back in the game real quick. Now, if you notice, I noticed it pretty badly. The game kind of has this blue hue to it, and it's all the time. Now, blue is probably one of the hardest colors on the eyes. It is... Next to white is one of the it's the strongest spectrum of light. 
gaming glasses come with kind of a, a blue tint to it to help filter out that light so your eyes don't get so fatigued. You might not notice it. it. It just makes the game seem a little, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. Maybe a little shadowy more than it should be. But there is a way to fix that. There is a nice sweet effects mod that'll take out that blue and actually make the game look even better than it does right now. So I'm just gonna show you real quick how to install the sweet effects mod and I think you're going to like it. So let's go ahead and do that real quick and then we'll jump back in the game and see how it looks. Here we are on the page for the graphics boost with sweet effects 151 by Miracle Freak. Now there are tons of other sweet effects versions out there. This is just the one that I'm going to use for the purpose of this video. And you know what? I'll probably use it for my new personal XCOM Long War playthrough. So we're going to go ahead and just click on files. Just go ahead and peruse the information here real quick. It's very short, very easy. And we're going to download the one right here, version 4. Now, you can download a version that doesn't change the colors at all in the game. It just gets the blue out. It kind of gets rid of that tint that I was talking about. So if you don't want any other kind of enhancement, you can go ahead and get that one. But I'm going to go ahead and get the enhanced one here. Let's go ahead and download it. It's pretty small. It'll get done pretty quick. So we're going to click it open. And I'm going to close this because I no longer need it. Now as you can see, we got two folders here. This one is to install the binaries into your enemy unknown. This is to install it into your enemy within slash long war install. You can use both. You can use only one. So you can maybe jump between back and forth to see the color differences. I'm just going to use the enemy within one. And I'm going to extract all these manually. It's just the way I like to do it. So what you want to do is you want to then navigate to your XCOM install folder like I have here. Let's go to enemy within, it goes in binaries, win32, and we're just going to go ahead and drop these bad boys straight away into here. There they are. Now I usually like to drop it in just like that so they're all highlighted and then I drag this aside. That way if I jump into the game it looks terrible, I can just go in there and hit the delete key automatically and they'll all be gone. This is my own quirky way of doing it, you don't have to do it that way, it's just the way I like to do it. <laughs> So now that it's in there, we're going to go ahead and jump back in the game and see if it looks any different. I really hope it does or I'm going to look like the fool. Here we are inside the game and as you can see, everything just seems to pop. That blue tint is gone. The shadows look like shadows again. It doesn't look like there's this bizarre haze lingering over everything and I happen to love it completely. I've tried this in many campaigns on this game already and it looks great it works fine and there doesn't seem to be now i haven't modified the camera or anything yet but everything seems to Heading be to that location running great and no lag i can see the animations are smooth forgive me i'm yes, just uh clicking guys to run in places oh we're witnessing something never before seen in recorded history oh they're so cute compared to the xcom 2 sectoids oh let's get them hugs Anyway, guys, that's how you mod XCOM. If you have any questions, post them down below. I'll be glad to help. If you have a mod that's giving you trouble, I'll do my best to assist you. If I don't know the answer, I'll be sure to convincingly make one up for you. All right, guys, this is Talem, and I'll see you next time. Let's get him. Shoot him. In the face. Oh, you got him in the face. Look at that, 25%. It's calm, baby. Of course, we miss it like 95% all the time, so what's the matter, right? <laughs>